Hi guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, June 7th, 2016. This is Jennifer. We are sitting outside on a beautiful Tuesday morning in my backyard because with the help of my new grace frame, I have finished one of the UFOs from my list, which is the vintage quilt top that I've had for years. It was an anniversary gift for my husband some years ago, and it has been carried forward on my to-do list at least since 2012, maybe 2011. It's been years, like I said, at least five at this point. I um, did a lot of looking at it. I originally thought I would hand quilt it. Just to be completely honest, I probably would have never finished it if I'd sat down to hand quilt it. I've only ever hand quilted two quilts and it took me years. I decided to go ahead and put it on my frame. Now I actually quilted it sideways because it is a little bit under twin size. It's a really nice snuggle quilt. We've been using it already on the sofa just as a, you know, something to throw over your legs kind of thing. It is scrunchy and wonderful, and I will show some close-ups of the quilting at the end. Um, I've been trying to practice all the different quilt things that I have done in free motion quilting on my um, frame so that I can kind of see what it feels like to do that in a different, um, in a different way instead of moving the quilt and moving the machine so that's new and it's it's so far it's so good i've really enjoyed it i have two other quilts i want to show you today um this is the panel that uh, laura wonder woman gave me and i did get it bound so this is all done and this one was the one that i did just a big uh, meander on and this is this was by far the fastest thing to do and i really like this one because it's just enough quilting but not too much quilting and it makes a really soft quilt. I did one other practice panel. This one will also be for the Linus Connection. This is the end of my practice panels. I don't have any more uh, fabric panels specifically that I've set aside to practice on. This one, um, I think this was a little Riley Blake panel. It's very small, so it'll be a baby, possibly even a preemie size. I did big swirlies on this one. This is one of my favorite things to do. So that is it for outside today. I'm gonna go ahead and move back inside so I can talk to you some more about um, my favorite things and a couple other things that are going on. We are back inside so that I can uh, show you last week's my favorite things. So these are the June block. We have a crochet hook and we have knitting needles to go with the rest of the blocks from the year so far. If you haven't already, you get you can get both of these blocks in six inches and 12 inches, both patterns for just $2. So you get four patterns for two bucks and that is in my crafty shop. Thank you guys for your uh, just positive comments and your support while this block of the month has been going on. I had no way of knowing that I was gonna have to have surgery in the middle of all this. And you have been very supportive about my concerns over what will be going on the next few weeks and whether or not I will be able to support you guys the way I want to. And I really appreciate just your understanding and your thoughtfulness about that. My quilt makers are finally in. They actually came in about two hours after I recorded my video last week. Everyone that has ordered has, should have already received theirs because I mailed them on Tuesday. All pre-orders received a little extra something from me. I am getting these out the same day that they are ordered. I will only be selling these for probably, I'm gonna say another week and a half because my surgery is two weeks from today and I'm gonna take all of my things that have to be mailed off of my Etsy shop for a couple of weeks because I won't be able to drive and I will have to depend on other people to mail my stuff and I would rather not have to do that. So if you guys want a copy, I just, I have maybe I think I have maybe eight or ten left so if you guys would want a copy and you'd like to have it in the mail this week now's a really great time to do it you can find that in my um that is my Etsy shop so that's where those are now that I'm caught up as much as I can be on my favorite things and the quilt maker things sorted out and school is out for the summer because my son graduated on Friday which is still extremely surreal to me um, but now all of that is done and I have a little bit more um, leeway with my schedule. I am intending this week to really focus hard on getting as much of his quilt done as I can, my son's quilt, that I promised to make him for going to college in the fall. If at all possible, I want to have the quilt top done by the end of the week. Um, I mentioned last week there's no paper piecing. That is because it is a pixel quilt. These are my supplies for his quilt. Um, I have had everything for a couple of weeks. There are also a couple of yards of black fabric. Um, that's all Moda Bella solids. And I will be making him a quilt that looks like a spiral galaxy, theoretically. I have the image sorted out and I just need to start cutting and sewing. Um, it's all two and a half inch squares. It's probably going to take me 
a good deal of time to cut it out, but I can do a lot of the cutting sitting down, so I'm hoping to get as much of that done as I can this week, and actually I plan to start cutting this afternoon, so we'll see. Hopefully by um, this weekend I'll be able to do a little update video that can post on Tuesday. You guys have a wonderful crafty week. Um, I may or may not have a video next week. I'm going to try, but I will be out of town on Tuesday, so if I have one I'm going to have to post it on Saturday to make sure that it posts on Tuesday. The week after that is my foot surgery. That'll be the 21st so if I can post something ahead of time for the 21st I will but I'm making no promises for the 21st I may just be absent that day so we will see how that goes and then I will see you guys uh, hopefully next week so fingers crossed for that if not it will probably be July so see you guys later bye <laughs>